Oh. Okay, sir. We are folks. Uh, behind me is Dr. Samdu Chhetri sitting. He has got a broad smile on his face because I complained that yesterday in Uden he had a long face. Anyway, Dr. Samdu Chhetri uh, is uh, excited because we are going to the place which is called, uh, known in Buddhism as Pure Land Buddhist Buddhism, Pure Land Buddhism. That is where. Uh, 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 we are going towards uh, uh, what uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama calls the Potala, the Potala hillock which the Tibetans and other Tibetans have placed in Kerala, in South India, or some uh, Patulika or something, some uh, mountain. No, Potala is here. Because, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, in um, uh, Wikipedia, I have read uh, the uh, Potala was actually a word uh, got from Putolo Gia Shan. Now, Putolo Gia Shan is a mispronunciation of Pahari Jalva Sthan. Putolo Jia Shan is a mispronunciation of Pahari Jalwa Sthan and what do you call it? Uh, uh, Putolo Jia Shan means uh, brilliance. That is exactly what Jalwa means. Jalwa means brilliance. And uh, why brilliance? Because Jalwa, Jalwa Pahari, uh, when they tried they exploded it for rocks uh, to sell as you know chips, uh, rock chips, uh, uh, crystals, topaz, all these you know precious stones were thrown out. So that is what jalwa means, brilliance. Which the it seems those days in the ancient times, the Hun Sang, other Chinese, they came here and they saw this and. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in Wikipedia, I see a, each country has a variant of Puto Lo Jia Shan and uh, uh, what do you call it? Guan Yin. The Chinese god Guan Yin. In other words, the Indian name is Avalokiteshwar. Guan Yin lives on Puto Li, Lo Jia Shan. Avalokiteshwar lives on Puto Loki Jia Shan. Now, Guan Yin, in my Potala, in my Pahari Jalwa Sthan, what do you call it? Gaibi Baba Temple is there. Gaibi Baba, Gai Guan, Gai Guan, B Yin, B Yin. Guan Yin, Gaibi Baba Temple uh, is there. So, uh, what do you call it? And then the Pure Land, Wikipedia, the Koreans, the Chinese, they have, uh, you know, separate words, uh, something like Jingtu or Jingshu or something. And over there, it is west of uh, Jalwa Pahari is uh, Jogpur, which has been, it seems, has been mispronounced as Jingtu. Jog means Jug, Jug means the world. That is the Pure Land. So, folks, and then we are going towards Vikram Shila. There was no Vikram Shila, it was Vikram Shri Ghana. And Atisha's home, Naropa's home, Tilopa's home. Tilopa lived in Kajra, mispronounced by Tibetans as Jagoda. They say he was uh, either in Kajra, uh, Jagoda or, uh, or Chativavo. Just next to Kajra is Chakthani. That is, um, Chativavo is a mispronunciation of Chakthani. And folks, Naropa lived in Narotimpur. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, Atisha, the country name was Bikrampur. There is a village. These three villages are stuck together. They are uh, neighboring villages. Jagoda, Kajra for Tilopa, Narotimpur for Naropa and what do you call it, uh, uh, Vikrampur. And just next to them is Sri Ghana. 
Now, Sri Ghana, you must uh, remember Atisha was called Atisha Dipankara Sri Janana. Now, Sri Janana sounds very similar with uh, to Sri Ghana. Now, according to Taranath, the Tibetan monk who took the Sanskrit name, what do you call it? Uh, all the principles of Vikram Shila Sangrama, they were given the title of Sri Ghana. Atisha was given the title of Sri Ghana, Atisha Dipankara Sri Ghana, Ghana, and the principles after him, they were given the title of Sri Ghana. So there was no Vikram Shila, it was Vikram Sri Ghana. Now, Sri Ghana is the fourth village next to these three con 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 conglomerations of villages. There are four villages all together. Sri Ghana, Vikrampur, Narotimpur, Naropa and Kajra, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, 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 Tilopa. So folks, we are going towards Pure Land Buddhism. You're the home of uh, Buddha Amitabh. Uh, I will be showing you his temple. <laughs> And <laughs> Dr. Samdu Chetri is, is I am smiling because of you. <laughs> uh, and I would like to request uh, Tibetans, His Holiness the Dalai Lama is a very old person. Him, I will be making a video of these places for Galikpa and uh, Kagyu uh, sects of Tibetans. And Ningbapa, and I uh, request you to please uh, give this, uh, show this video to His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Thank you, folks. We are approaching uh, the Buddha, Buddhist pure land, which is known as pure land Buddhism. Thank you.